The Alfa Romeo 166. Been around a few years now, but unfortunately, you've never been able to buy one because it depreciates as fast as it accelerates. However, we think we've found a solution. We think we've found a way that you can afford one. An Alpha 166 like this is a sign that you have exquisite taste. It shows the world that you put aesthetics above practicality and that you won't simply run with the pack. Put it like this, Alpha Males by BMWs. Alphas are for nice people. Unfortunately, if you buy a 166 for £29,900 in a year, it'll be worth £13,000. That's £17,000 gone. And that works out at £325 a week. That's nearly 50 quid a day. 50 quid a day in depreciation alone. The solution would be to buy one second-hand. But you can't do that because no one bought one new in the first place, because the depreciation was so bad. 166? They should have called it the Catch-22. Sales of this car have been so pathetic, I really did think Alpha would simply stop selling it here. But they haven't. In fact, they've just made it better. It's always been a handsome car, but with its new nose and new wheels, it's better than any other big four-door saloon. It's as though it's come down a pipeline from the gods. You know what that is, don't you? It's a little black dress. It's the kind of thing you'd take to an embassy cocktail party at a schloss in Austria. And it's not just a work of art on the outside, either. When it breaks down and you have to get the bonnet up, you're in for a right old treat. Look at that. They've actually chromed the inlet pipes on the 3.2-litre V6 engine. Wonderful. I have to say, though, it's not the fastest car in the world. It's front-wheel drive, too, so it's not a thriller in the corners, either. But if you judge a car on how it makes you feel, rather than what it can do, the 166 is in a class of its own. Unlike a BM or an Audi, which hum as they go along, this one it fizzes and it crackles. It sounds like an engine, not like a monk. Think of it as an Italian waiter waving its arms around. You don't get the food any faster, but it's more exciting somehow. Every time I see someone going the other way in a Merc or a BM or an Audi, I just want to get the window down and shout at them. You bought the wrong car! Did you know that in Italy, the traffic warden's uniforms are designed by Fendi and their handbags by Gucci? The Italians are obsessed with style and design, and that shows with the interior of this car. It's by far and away the best thing about it. It's not exactly a button fest. I mean, there are no sort of controls all over the steering wheel. You don't even get cup holders. But it's such a nice place to be. You look forward to doing a journey just so you can come and sit in it. God, I love this car. So how, you might be wondering, could you afford such a thing? Well, to find out, I've come to Yorkshire, home of the coal fields that powered the British Empire. 100 years ago, there were 3,000 pits in Britain. Today, there are just 18. And that's been really bad news for Yorkshire, because even 20 years ago, there were 54 pits here. Now, 
This one's a museum. There are only seven left. This collapse has had a dramatic effect on the price of houses where the miners used to live. Today, the average house price across the whole country is £150,000, but here in the village of Hemsworth, property is a little cheaper than that. This house here, for instance, is up for auction next month with a reserve price of just £7,500. Like the dado stencils. It's arranged over four storeys, two bedrooms, and I must say I do like the distressed look that's been achieved by the uh, previous owners. Though that said, I do think this exposed plasterboard here is uh, mid-80s, really. I'm not sure this um, glass carpet is very practical. And, um, and the window. Nice effect, but a bit drafty. Thing is, though, you're always seeing programmes where people go off to France to find a bargain. Why? We've got bargains here. If you truly love cars, why waste £325 a week on a big, expensive mortgage? Why not move here and spend the money instead on a 166? I mean, think about it. I know it's not a great house, but you'd be able to sit here knowing that every time you looked out of the window, you'd be able to see your very own Alfa Romeo. Oh! Actually, that was quite an expensive house, I should point out. I was talking to an estate agent while I was up there, and he said a couple of years ago he valued an old miner's house at naught.